so many people are just trying to replicate what is working for others. And that creates this echo chamber of, I'm gonna use coaches as an example. Essentially, in my opinion, coaching, life coaching right now is like a pyramid scheme. There's coaches who coach people and then coaches who coach coaches and then coaches who coach coaches who coach coaches. And the reason that that's the case is that there's a lot of money in that business. And good coaches are worth it. I'm not saying that there aren't good coaches out there. What I am saying is that people saw a way to make a lot of money and they jumped on it. And they're talking themselves into thinking, oh, I get to live my dream. I get to help other people help other people. In reality though, if you're doing the same thing that tons of other people are doing, that is not your genius. Your genius only you have. And your genius comes from leaning into being fucking weird and being different than everyone else and being willing to fly your flag and have it get shot at. Somebody once told me that when you plan a flag, you better believe people are gonna start shooting. And you taking those shots should be a good sign, not a bad one. We're all so scared of taking heat from people. But in reality, taking heat means we've actually planted our flag somewhere and we stand for something. And we're not just blending in with everybody else. And I think a lot of people have gotten to this place of compromise, right? That's the gene key that I was talking about earlier today. We just have given up on our true dreams and we do what feels good enough instead of what we actually have the capacity to do because we don't believe that we are strong enough to get to the other side, but it is possible. And that's what I've committed the next phase of my life to. So my focus is to meet a bunch of other people that are willing to be different, that want to see somebody do something different, and then to hopefully empower those people to be willing to do the different thing. Because when more people are operating from their genius, the world has more of what it needs. And that feeling is contagious. When you see somebody who is living their life's purpose, when they are day in and day out loving what they're doing, that affects everyone that comes into that person's aura. You can just see so clearly that they're having fun, which is so rare in our society right now. Surfing is something that made me realize how far off my life had gotten. Outwardly looking in, things were great. But in my heart, I was disconnected from joy and doing the things that really light me up in life. And I started, as I walked through this transition of shutting down the business to have a little bit more time, at least for right this second, which allowed me to go and surf a little bit more, which started to light the, the fire in my belly to reconnect with that feeling of just pure joy and excitement and energy. And it made me want to structure the rest of my life so that I get those things from what I do day in and day out, not just going for a surf. And I did not have that running my business. Man, there was more in there about that than I thought there was. <laughs>